Hello, my name is Adelina, welcome back for another episode of Hushman 3, Black Alliance mod as uh, PRC. So in previous episode, the Xi'an incident happened, and we are slowly taking more ground over here against the Nationalists. Of course, they are now in a bit of a shambles after that uh, uh, war declaration, or the, the civil war brawling every direction. So we're hopefully able to punch a lot closer to Nanjing soon enough. We also need to clear out a lot of the area here, destroy some of the enemy units, but that's, uh, well, we can actually start attacking there sh soon enough. And I think the Mountaineer is going to get uh, across the river first. Oh, Defense and Death advance. there we go. And there's an AT Regiment. I believe the proper units already have, yeah, they already have one. Does that one doesn't? I'll give it the one in Yuncheng. And we are going to be taking Xi'an as well soon enough, hopefully. Oh, Ling Bao was under attack briefly. Well, good luck with them. Yeah, so the river crossing uh, combat has started. Of course, the enemy is still relatively good strength in there. So I think we're going to probably manage this uh, relatively easy in the end. So I think these two divisions are going to go along the coastline, at least a little bit in there. We can probably bring in some more troops there sooner or later. I'll also go ahead and move in some of the headquarters. I think a decent chunk of them are starting to be a bit far away. Especially this one is a bit far away. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Take that one away and assign it under the... I guess the fourth. Or over there. So that means that this one can actually move to somewhere like Jinan instead. Looks like uh, the Battle of Pijian is... Uh, well, I mean, we've won the combats there already once, and we are pushing across the river. The militia is, or the light infantry division is already there. There we go. And does it have, um, no, it doesn't have any resources. It used to have uh, aluminum in a, a previous uh, version. Like, I think it was the 10.5 uh, uh, or somewhere around there. And I remember the aluminum in there. But anyway, we are going to be making our way across the river. I suppose the militia could also start attacking, well, actually... No point attacking there yet. It won't be able to do any headway in there right now. Ooh, sense of tabulating machine. Resource efficiency goes up actually quite a bit. And the next level is 1938. Or the next sector is 1938. So no point in adding that to the research queue yet. Looks like our militias are at least moving in house. Ah, the oh, there we go. I'm going to send in the... Probably the militia actually into the urban territory. That's not a terrible idea. Uh, right, so how's the pocket battle in... Ah, there we go. We've already destroyed most of the enemy units there. Very good. I'm also making a bit of a headway through the port there. So I'm thinking I might be able to encircle this militia and destroy it. Although one militia isn't really that bad. But every unit that we're going to destroy is a unit that we don't have to uh, fight a second time. I think what... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose the mountaineers are going to deal with the enemy contribute in here. Oh yeah, that is going to be a very... Very swift combat. The descent on the enemy side is reducing at least. But whether it's reducing quickly enough remains to be seen. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to redeploy the militia in here. And the mountain, as soon as it's ready to move out, is going to start pushing towards Changshan. So we can uh, sort of uh, guard the flank in here. And then I suppose the militia can probably punch or go across the river soon enough. Maybe this one could give a bit of a support attack. It's not going to go across the river yet. Oh, there's army headquarters advance. So delay between attacks is reduced a decent chunk. That's good. And there we go. We've destroyed the enemy pockets in the west. That is very handy. There's still combat going on in the mount or hills actually over here. Uh, I don't suppose... I'm going to give a support attack over there. I'm going to attack over there. And then someone's going to give a support attack as well. So a three-prong attack into Chongchuang. We're going to take that one. We've taken uh, the town of Xi'an. So that is a bit more industry for us. It's one industrial capacity to be fair, so it's not really that much. But it does give a bit of leadership and uh, manpower as well. So that's all quite nice. Let's go ahead and give a bit of a combat in here. At least keep the enemy busy in kind of thing. They are a little bit low on organization. Now we're not dealing at that much damage, mind you, but at least we're dealing some. Actually, we could probably give a support attack from here. Get through it. Now this uh, could probably move into Dangsheng already. Looks like our units are about ready to cross the river. So the mountaineers, since they haven't got the delay right now, we can push them across the river already into Huayin. Ooh, and there we go. Starting experience 10. Slightly better. And we got some... Um, oh, another division HQ. 
Oh, I suppose the one in Ping Ying could get that. The one in here. So we're almost done with the Division HQs, actually. We might have even one extra in there now that I think of it. But that's alright. We're going to always build uh, another unit around it. So that is a-okay. In terms of officers, we're currently at 102%. Oh, there's a radio tech knowledge. Is that... Uh, oh, yeah, we can get these two. So the radios will be unlocked. We already got infantry radios, luckily enough. And... I don't think I need to buy more energy. So Japan... You can get lost with those trade offers. Those particular trade offers, at least. Right, looks like the river crossing seems to be mostly underway. And once we get the militia in here, we can probably go ahead and send this one all the way to Shanki. And I suppose... Oh, there we go. Getting across the river. Bixian is under attack by some contrips, and that's hardly an issue. I think, uh, yeah, we can start advancing into Binhai already. Let's take these two. Then if we can get... Uh, well, getting across there is going to be a little bit tricky. Not impossible, but tricky. But we are... If we have a look at the distance, we're 150 kilometers away from Nanjing. Which is the enemy capital. And I think once we take that one, they will surrender. Uh, so I'd say there's a pretty good chance that we can end this war before um, the war with Japan starts. So we won't lose Shanghai, luckily. In that case. But otherwise, uh, Japan will take Shanghai if the war or the Marco Polo incident uh, has time to happen. Ooh, Panko is in little settlements. I'm going to take the extra science from that. It looks like we got a little bit extra in... Oh, consu oh, hold on a minute. Consumer goods. All right, then. Keep a little bit extra in there, but that's uh, over 40 industrial capacity now in construction. Or production, so that will be quite handy. And the road crossing is almost done. Also getting through here, so I think we're just going to punch through there and link up there. We can clear out these units, hopefully. Relatively soon, and this one can keep on pushing forward. We might actually get a bit of an overrun in there. On some of the units. Oh, industry advance. Now that is something that will go back to the top of the list. So that we can get a little bit more... Well, it's slightly less manpower, but as China, we won't really have a problem with that. It gives a bit more industry and IC efficiency and a bit more supplies as well. That reminds me, we are getting the supply research over there already. It's going to take a while before we get most out of it, but uh, it is at least underway. Oh, they've got another unit in here for the... Oh, stop our river crossing. Well, we'll give another support attack there. How's the attack in here? We haven't taken much casualties from the enemy, luckily. That is quite handy indeed. Food rationing? Ah, right. We don't actually need that one right now. That is the one that was uh, giving us a lot of extra descent, wasn't it? That's another cavalry recon. We don't buy supplies. A recon cavalry, I suppose. I believe all the communist militias now have that. Yes, so how about we give one into one of the units in Seng Shu, so we'll get slightly higher attack values. It's not going to be much better, but again, every little helps. So as you might have noticed, my habit of uh, playing the game is uh, a very cautious. Like, I don't uh, do, like, uh, massive blitzes uh, with leaving uh, flanks open and all that. It's a sure way to get your units destroyed. Ooh, cold rationing. Well, that's not something that we definitely need. I'm actually going to say no on all of these rationing things. And it's 1st of January, so we can get the economic boost. We're going to go with the long-term investment still. So that we can get a slightly more money, at least. Uh, we don't need the help decision. And the espionage focus, we got the reduced our neutrality still. So I think we are going to hold on to that. At least our neutrality is slowly dropping. Actually, does that mean that we can get... We've got heavy industries already. We don't really need to worry about that one. So, actually, the laws are... Oh, is there any new leaders? Or ministers, rather. Uh, not... Well, I mean, there might be some, but I'm just going to quickly double-check. Especially if there's anyone that is economy-focused, that'd be very handy. Well, there's health and education. That could be kind of useful. Although not necessarily needed. No, most of the ministers are... Yeah, there's not really anything that we need to change right now. Ah, there's the mix support for the light infantry. There we go. And another recon cavalry. I suppose that could also be one of the units of Xingzhu. So now we're dealing even more damage. At least during daytime. During nighttime is a bit less, perhaps, but uh, it's a start. And we've got the militia over here at least providing some defense. Oh, there goes Egypt. And second uh, Moscow show trial. 
lost a battle in here. Ah, there we go. We are making some progress there. And we got finally a victory in shang -Chian. So hopefully we can then help clear out these... Uh, or close off the pocket. It's not really initially going to be a lot of units in there. Oh, there we go. This should be an overrun. At least in theory. And we've got a little bit extra in production, actually. Oh, okay. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading the other contract to light infantry. That's going to keep some production going there. And we've regained our province over here in the northwest. Production. Yeah, we'll take more resources. So, how's the leadership looking like? We've got almost five leadership in officer recruitment. We'll put it to five, so that is at least slightly better. There we go, we got on victories there. Got on victory by mod. Looks like the enemy is slowly pulling back from here as well. In uh, Tongshuan. Then after that, we might need to clear out the Shibes and Masa fortifications in the hills. And it's going to be a little bit tricky. Not impossible, mind you, but a little bit tricky to get in there. Look like... Oh, yeah, this is going to be a victory soon. Kai Feng was a victory. And Shangu... Oh, there we go. So these are going to be surrounded very shortly. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking across the river in here already. Probably going to be a fairly simple attack. All things considered, they don't really have a lot of um, organization, mind you. And Xinjiang wants to... Fire some of the metal. I mean, I guess that's fine. We don't need the scrap metal right now. I mean, we kind of do, but at the same time, I'd prefer not to take the extra consumer goods cost. Let's go ahead and give a bit of support attack from here as well. So that's going to be three river crossings into the same province, at least in... Oh, that was the wrong province that I had selected. There we go. That makes a bit of a difference. When the is under attack, well, not for long. There we go. That is another 80 regiment. I'm guessing, um, no. Don't have them on all units. The one in Wuhai, for example, is that? Yeah, so over here we've got the anti tank guns now joining into the ray. So there is two provinces that we can advance over here. It'll probably take some time before we get to those. And we got even more production. Okay. Well, I suppose we are completing a lot of these uh, production lines that we set up in here. So that's kind of handy. We don't have any air wings that we can build. We got some torpedo boats, but they're not necessarily going to be that great. Very simple early versions. How's the infrastructure looking like? It's going to be a little bit rough, especially around our capital. It's only 50%. I'm going to go ahead and build at least a couple levels of infrastructure to approaches to Taiwan and going south to link up with this uh, bit larger there. So it's going to give us a bit of construction practical. It's not going to be too expensive, although it's not going to be cheap either. There's a relatively easy way to increase your construction practical and thus make it constructing things a lot cheaper in the long run. Go ahead and send in the infantry division over here. We'll probably, probably break through here soon enough. Oh, there's Brigade HQ and Division HQ advance. We're now on this under attack again. And now, if we have a look at the command over here, so that is definitely ahead of time. But that's about it, actually. Everything else can continue. We could probably get the battle commander recognition already underway. And in the, um, yeah, we are getting the superior strength as well at some point. Although it's not really in that active research yet. Somewhere down the line, though, we'll have it. There we go, victory of going on once again. So we just need to break through this one light infantry division in there. And then they won't be really able to take that back either anytime soon. That's kind of handy. How's the pocket? It should be soon closed. Is this? Okay, that is actually attacking in there. Like both of those. Uh, right, well, I suppose we've got the one in Dangsheng. Ah, right, so over here we got the horse transport now. Do we actually have a little bit extra in consumer goods? We'll keep it still like a tiny bit extra in there, as always, but it uh, doesn't need to be quite as high. I think we can actually go ahead and send this one uh, down to the western end. So we can start making our way towards Nanjing. Because the sooner we can get more lands in here, the better. Now, to be fair, the pocket hasn't been closed yet, but it will be. Actually, what I suppose we could do is uh, we could take one of these. Do a support attack from the other side. To break the enemy militia there even faster. There we go. A small losses, but not too bad. Oh, and there we go. We close off the pocket. So now it's just a matter of uh, moving in here, clearing out the rest of that. When Nan is under attack once again. And the enemy just takes a bit of casualties and then retreats. 
Do we still have spies in China? We do have a little bit. So they've got um, 91 total, I see, according to our estimates. So they still have a larger industry than we do. But not that much larger, luckily. I think it's under attack. But that was an easy victory. And it looks like this pocket will be closed hopefully soon enough. And as soon as that is done, I suppose... We'll give us a war attack with this one. And let the militia kind of move in there and clear it out. But as soon as we've uh, cleared out the pocket there... That is going to allow us to maybe start pushing a bit further... Oh, basic education and investment. That is something that we definitely want to keep on researching. We'll keep that at the top of the list. More leadership is always more leadership. And I think we are... Well, we are about to get some reinforcements in here. I'm going to start advancing along the... Um, river here. Towards Nanjing. I believe it would be Huai River. At least, more or less, in here. I keep on attacking your way down. So, oh, there we go. Now we've uh, got this pocket surrounded. So we'll give support attack from there. And these two will attack this one. We could probably actually go and start heading down here somewhere. Start getting up to the river line. Well, it is actually Huai River. That we're getting towards. Oh, we had a victory in Bai Ying. Ah, right, over there. <laughs> Took me a while to realise where that was. We don't have an engineer for this unit yet. We're going to have a whole lot of engineers being built, actually. And it's going to take a while before we get all of those, but at least it's a start. Now, I suppose another thing that I could do, since I'm going to be splitting a lot of those uh, double militias and all that into their own units, so I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do some... I, I can make, like, I don't know, six at first. I'm making two groups of three. Or something like that. So without the regiment... And I think what we might do with those extra ones is we'll let go of the recon cavalry and we'll put a mix support. It's going to be maybe a bit more expensive. It's not that bad. And it's going to give them a slightly better combat stats. It's still going to have okay movement speeds and all that. But it will just, you know, it gives the air attack and other things... So essentially, once we build up the... Well, the militias are mostly built up, but once we start upgrading the units, we can then start splitting them into two. So yeah, we'll put something like that. So it's uh, going to be half the commons militias can be split uh, into two at that point. There we go. The pocket has been cleared. I'm going to go ahead and send this one down south. Victory out way down. And then I suppose since we won the battles there, might be time to push into uh, Shoko. A bit of support attack against the tanks. And then I suppose uh, this one could start attacking into the plains to the south as well. It's only um, Contrips defending, so it's not going to be that bad. And we're actually going to get another two anti-tank regiments uh, not that long from now. I keep on trying to do the spoiling attack scene when... Oh! Gongxian is under attack, okay. So how is the war looking like in the south? So Gongxian clique is uh, losing some ground. Yunnan is losing some ground. And I think the only one that hasn't really lost a lot of ground yet against uh, at least nationalist China is uh, Xibes and Ma. They've actually taken a province. Although it's mostly so that the enemy doesn't really have need for taking that province back yet is the thing. Oh, there we go. We push back the enemy uh, armoured. How's the defence over here? It's going. Now we've got the anti-tank regiments. I'm guessing most of the... Okay, not all of them, but most of the communist militia already have anti-tank guns. So it might be time to get some uh, anti-tank guns to the various militias then. Like one over here, so we can deal with those enemy tanks slightly easier. Ooh, victory at Tung is a bit costly combat, mind you, but it is a victory. And then we should be able to hold on to that one, I reckon. Tung is going to be a very easy victory, and Pik is is uh, probably going to be quite an easy victory as well. We'll go ahead and start doing a bit of a spoiling attack there. And there's a bit of a spoiling attack or counterattack from the enemy. That's uh, not going to be much of a difference in the end. I'm going to go ahead and redeploy down there. We've got more and more proper divisions heading down towards the eastern flank. And how long until... Okay, that's going to be quite a while. I'm going to bring in another unit in here. And we'll try to sort of uh, maybe cut off this stack of units. Destroy that one. And then that's going to be a l quite a relief in the end. There we go, that's another two victories. Uh, now, to be fair, this boiling attack over here isn't really going quite yet as planned, but it will probably be a lot easier soon enough. 
It looks like the enemy is definitely losing ground to the south of our main front line. So we should be reaching the Huai River. Well, at least this militia should be reaching there soon enough. It is already January. So we've got a little bit of... Um, well, not really much of a stress yet, but a little concern about the time that we are using or spending on all of this. Okay, they are bringing a lot more troops in here. It'll be a bit tricky. I suppose the Mountaineers can start attacking over there already. Core HQ advance. Okay, that is probably... Yeah, that's definitely ahead of time. Remove that one. And we can reduce the reinforcements a little bit. We'll need to get some more recon cavalries, among other things, but uh, that won't take too long. I'll slowly also... Oh, right, we already won this battle once, but I suppose they brought in another unit. We'll delay and diversion. Uh, right, I suppose we got the Commodus Militia over here. Well, it's not ready to move out yet. Or do we have anything here? We've got two Commodus Militias. The other one is not quite ready to move out. I suppose the Light Infantry could give a bit of a support attack from here. Punch uh, through the enemy lines. And we got the Delay and Diversion, I presume, is ahead of time. Yes. That's uh, down here. That can be dropped. Division HQ, I suppose we could get that research now. Political indoctrination would increase the... Communist militia morale a tiny bit, but that's not really that crucial. I think we can go without it. We're slowly about to arrive to the planes here. There we go. We're gonna move another one in here, and then the I think we're gonna send in the mountaineers through there. So we're gonna try to sort of create some pockets uh, in here, especially if we destroy that armored unit. That'd be brilliant. It might not be possible right now, but uh, maybe somewhere down the line. Still going to take another three days before the Communist Militia in Dangshan can move forward. They did bring us some armoured in here, but that won't stop us. We're also getting across the river already in here. Do we have any more troops that we can send down there? Mm. That's the thing, we need to take Wuhe, essentially, to cut off the enemy. Oh, they brought in another contract. Well, we are going to break that one soon enough. I guess this one could attack... Already winning the combat there, so I guess uh, we could just send in the the communist militia. It's going to be two days before we can attack. We'll start pushing the enemy towards the river one way or the other. We're under attack on the southernmost point, I suppose, in uh, Shanghai. Ah, there we go. The uh, infantry unit, or contra into infantry unit, will be done, and then we're going to start switching those into various other units. We're taking a little bit more ground. Oh, okay. Interesting. So that's trying to cut off the enemy there. So... Probably China has taken a little bit of land from... Zubayz uh, and Ma now. But uh, at this point... Uh, there's not that much that we need to worry about it. Reduce the reinforcements a little bit. And Jinju was a victory. So we are about to get across the river. Oh, come on. Stop bringing more militias in here. I'm going to move in this militia unit to Fijian, so we can move in the survivor militia, maybe, around to assist in taking Wuhe. And then uh, form the pockets, then we can clear out that pocket and also start pushing further south. Which admittedly might still take a few moments. But at least we have reached the Huai River. And uh, yeah, we've uh, got a decent bit of damage on the enemy. There is uh, no factories that we conquered recently other than in Xi'an. But I suppose um, Hefei and Nanjing are not that far away. Shanghai region, like over here is where they have a lot of their factories. And they have actually been building more factories up there. Or at least trying to. Which is good. It means that they don't have quite as much troops. And once we conquer that, that's going to be more factories for us. I don't suppose we have anyone in... You know what? You're going to redeploy down here and the mountaineer is gonna form up a bit of pocket there while we're already pushing to there the militia is going out there we go the surviving militia can now start moving down here we're gonna, just gonna use the regular movement uh, you know what no we're gonna redeploy it in there and we can send in this other infantry division to assist in the crossing that's another artillery regiment I'm guessing there's still at least a few. Uh, let's see, so that's got artillery. That one's got artillery. This one doesn't. That one's going to get some. And then recon cavalry. I guess uh, more of our militias will start getting them. 
in this case was here. We got two units at least in uh, Shanghai, so we will be able to hold on to that one, I reckon. Also going to be uh, encircling these fairly shortly. Oh, Jin Hu is under attack. Well, we got reinforcements heading in there. And we got reinforcements coming in here to buying to hold on to that uh, province for the time being. Uh, do we actually have any mixed support? Uh, no, we haven't unlocked this stuff in here. Oh, we don't have enough uh, land combats. Oh, okay. Or some other research. Let's get the special forces a unit combined arms. We don't really have a lot of units that will actually benefit from that yet, but I'm sure that we will have at least some. And I'm guessing this one's going to be a fairly, well, I say relatively easy victory at least. The enemy is starting to pull back some of the troops away from the pocket there. But that's to be expected. I think that one's going to be, yeah, that's going to be an easy victory. How soon can you advance? In about a day. There we go, another victory for Young. And I suppose these two could start attacking in there. Keep the enemy of Boju rather occupied with the combat. And I suppose the Shanghai defense is going to be a lot easier now. Oh, there we go, victory buying. We just got there, but that's uh, holding. And we got the other unit in here now, in Yinyu. That will hopefully hold on. And there we go, the pocket has been created. How soon can you attack? Oh, that's going to be three days. Well, I'll give you orders to give support attack, but you might not give any for a while. And I suppose this could attack or reach the, hopefully reach the river. We'll also give a bit of a support attack from the flank. Oh, there we go. Victory Jinhu. So I think we'll send the regular infantry division to create the pocket. They were trying to redeploy, so now they're at least delayed in there for a while. Wu Yang is under attack, but that's, uh, yeah, that's not going to make much of a difference. So now it's February of uh, 37. But not far from Nanjing, actually, we are within 60 kilometers from there. As soon as we create the pocket, we'll start uh, destroying the enemy units in there, hopefully. And then we're going to start pushing further south, maybe try to create a few more pockets in here, if need be. But hopefully we don't need to do too much. We can probably just punch through. The enemy's uh, unity is down to 80, or oh, the process is 80%. The unity is only 43%, almost 44 to be fair, but that's uh, still quite small. And we do have a look at the VPs. So Hefei is 1, Nanjing is 2, Shanghai is 2. Well, there's not too many. We might have to go a little bit further south. But if we can take Nanjing, that might be at least pretty darn close to their surrendering. There we go. We are getting to the river at least. The pocket is... Uh, you know what? I'm going to give a bit of support attack with the mountain here. Just to speed up the process. How's the combat in here? Oh, they got a infantry battalion in there. And it's got most of the support units in there as well. So it's a decent bit. Oh, sorry, you just launched. Well, well, well. When are we getting more engineers, by the way? Ah, April? Oh, no, actually, we're getting some in February. But it's late February. There we go. We should be able to get to Wu here. In due time. And then we'll have... Well, it's only a militia and two... I think two cavalry divisions in a militia. Could be mistaken, but it's not that massive amount of troops there. Uh, right. Fiscal policy... I'm going to go for a minor tax increase. It's not going to be that massive amount. It will cost us a bit, but it will give us hopefully a lot of money as well. I'll take the Veteran HQ. Ooh, and Stormtrooper Tactics. Oh, it's a double Veteran HQ. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. That's quite handy. I suppose what we'll do is we'll send and switch uh, at least the infantry division over here to Veteran HQ. We'll put in a bit more consumer goods. But the amount of money that we'll be getting from the tax increase will be... Probably okay. We don't necessarily get like tens of thousands like a Soviet Union, for example, would get. But I'm sure that we can get at least several hundred from that every time that we get the payment. Ah, oh, there we go. So we've encircled the enemy. It's time to go ahead and push in there. I think we could probably go ahead and give a bit of support attack with the Mountaineer. They are quite battle-hardened units. Okay, it's two militias and cavalry division. So again, nothing massive, but uh, it's, again, a little bit more troops away from the front line then, and we will be getting... Pretty close to Nanjing after this. Although some of the combats may be a little bit uh, heavy, I suppose we could say. Right, I think we are going to go ahead and redeploy this one down to Fuyang. And the Mountaineer might start heading towards Nanjing, because that's the area that we'll need to get across the most. Like over here, sure enough, uh, it would be nice to take more ground, but we don't necessarily need to take it right now. We can afford waiting a little bit longer. Ooh, is on attack again. Now, luckily, we dug in there already a few, uh, few days. Another anti-tank gun. I suppose that could go to... 
the units in here, so we'll have a slightly higher, especially heart attack, and as opposed to a slightly better defensive modifiers and all that. Although, probably not that much. Ooh, there we go. Tomorrow we'll get the infantry regiment, or the contract unit, so we can actually move that unit around. That one's been emptied. I guess this one's probably going to be empty soon enough as well. So is there... Hmm. If we take a look at the... Oh, come on. Uh, at the situation here. So that one's hills. Uh, I don't think we can get to a solid front. But I suppose we could always just destroy it. I don't think the enemy is going to get in there. But with that, I actually... Well, uh, let's just put down these units first into the location. So that's going to be to PGR. And I suppose the... Uh, where is the construct? Uh, is it this one? Yeah, that one. Give it the division HQ there. No, it's a horse transfer, sorry. And now that we've got the uh, infantry in there, we could probably go ahead and start moving this one down to... Actually, it could probably be moved in here. At least slightly closer. But with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. A little next time. Bye-bye.